Some animals carry houses around with them, like hermit crabs, and when the house gets too small, the crabs simply move out and then move into a bigger house, whereas other animals have houses that are actually part of them. So stay tuned with Ant Reptile Colony as we learn all about the anatomy of the tortoise. Tortoises, terrapins and turtles all have a very special and unique anatomy and that is because although they are vertebrates they have both an internal and external skeleton and this is all due to their most distinguishing feature known as the shell which we're going to get into in a second. I just want to start off by saying that although tortoises, terrapins and turtles all have shells this video is going to focus on tortoises only but if you want to see more anatomy videos on sea turtles or even terrapins let me know in the comments below. But we're going to be starting off first at the front of the animal, which means we're starting off with the head, which of course can get pulled right back into the shell, even though its neck is quite long in order to protect it. What's interesting though is that tortoises have absolutely no teeth. They only have a very sharp beak, which means it's still going to hurt if they happen to bite you. And depending on the species and size of the animal, you can definitely lose some digits, which we don't want. I mean, have you ever seen a tortoise take a bite out of a carrot? I mentioned that the tortoise can pull its head all the way back into its shell for protection, but to add to that protection, they're also able to then put their front legs in front of that gap to protect their heads even more. And because of this, their front legs have much larger and harder scales in order to deter those predators. Tortoises also tend to have rather large and strong claws because a lot of them are amazing diggers. But moving briefly onto the other end of the tortoise, and that is that all tortoises have tails. Some may have long tails, some may have short tails that you can hardly see, but they all have tails. And in some cases with older tortoises, the length of the tail can be used to determine whether they are male or female. But we're going to get into some more distinguishing points there towards the end. But now we're going to move on to the part that you've all been waiting for in this video and that is where we're going to be talking about the shell which of course is used for protection but is originally thought to have evolved due to the tortoise's digging nature. The shell is of course rather heavy which is why tortoises move so slowly on land and inside the shell you can find all of the organs as well as the majority of the endoskeleton or the internal skeleton which as a whole consists of all the limb bones, the girdles, the skull, the ribs and the vertebra. The shell is comprised of two parts, the upper part or the top part known as the carapace and the lower part known as the plastron. The shell is what forms the external skeleton of the animal and this is because it is part of the animal. The carapace is made up of modified ribs and the spinal cord or the vertebra and the plastron is made up of a modified sternum. But taking a closer look at the carapace first, we'll see that the outer layer of the carapace is made up of things called scutes, which are these shapes that you can see on the shell. And in fact, each scoot has a special name based on its location on the body. And they are made up of a substance called keratin, which is exactly the same substance that makes up your fingernails. And under these scoots is the bony layer, which is what is fused to those modified ribs and vertebra. In fact, under these scutes by the bony layer, there is a series of nerves and blood vessels, which means that the tortoises can actually feel you touching, scratching, or even tapping them on their shell. And should they get cut or you know hit too hard to get cracked, they will actually bleed and they can definitely feel that pain. And like all reptiles, tortoises need to shed. But unlike snakes and some geckos that shed in a single piece, tortoises shed in lots of little flakes. The plastron or the bottom part of the shell is also made up of scutes which have names based on their position but again not going to get into those right now. The plastron is connected to the carapace with special scutes known as bridges. I said we we're going to get into other differences between male and female tortoises and you can tell this as part of the plastron because males have a much more concave plastron than females because they need this in order to mate and females often have more flexible and shorter anal scoots so the scoots near the cloaca because this will allow them to lay eggs a lot more easily. Tortoises are also really common in the pet trade and make amazing pets for some people so please make sure that you do an all your research before you decide to get yourself a tortoise. And if you want to know more about the unique anatomy of tortoises smash that like button or even drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe 
and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with any of the new content. But until then, click the video here on screen and remember, it's never too late to learn and I'll catch you in the next one.